After three days of unprecedented rainfall, on November the 4th, 1966, at about six o'clock in the morning, the River Arno overran its banks. Piazza di Giudici, formerly the home of the Institute, a museum of the history of science, now the Galileo Museum, was one of the worst places affected by the flood. 50 years on, the Galileo Museum is hosting an exhibition commemorating that tragic time with striking photography from the Institute's archives and a look at what the museum was like in 1966. The exhibition pays special tribute to the Institute's director at that time. Maria Luisa Reghini Bonelli spared no effort to save the salvageable on the day of the flood. Newspapers record that she courageously clambered out onto the ledge of the first floor of Palazzo Castellani to move the most precious exhibits to the Uffizi. Indeed, a few photographs show Bonelli clutching Galileo's telescopes and lenses. Following the 1966 flood, the exhibits were completely rearranged in much the same way as the permanent exhibition now on show. All the instruments that were on display on the ground floor and in, on the basement were completely destroyed, mixed and impossible to recognize after the disaster. So the main problem was to recognize the instruments and restore them. Uh, that big uh, challenge was uh, fronted by our former director, Maria Luisa Ergini Bonelli. And in, the, in our exhibition, we have lots of letters and documents that explain how she, re, she succeeded in uh, um, taking, uh, taking advantage of the rich network of uh, um, contacts that she had with uh, scholars and Society of History of Historians of Science and Technologies. The exhibition runs until November the 20th, 2016 and is included in your ticket to the Galileo Museum.